Hey there, Texans fans. Tom Downey here. We are not that far away from getting to 900 subscribers on our Texans YouTube channel. I would like to get there so that we can do even more videos for you guys on your favorite team. So if you haven't already, if you're one of the many, many people who watch the show but aren't subscribed, let's get that change. Hit that big red button right now. Let's kick off today's show with some injury updates and notes as the Houston Texans get ready for their week four matchup. The big one we'll focus in on is safety Justin Reed. I believe one of the top young safeties in the NFL. He was in full pads at practice on Wednesday. A very good sign for Reed being able to play in week four. He had a sprained knee, caused him to miss the game back in week three against the Panthers. Head coach David Culley has said that Reed is day-to-day. -day. As a gambling man, I think you'll see Justin Reed out there in week four, and that's a big boost for Houston. Although Reed maybe wasn't as good as he's been in the past in 2020, his 2021 campaign is off to a fantastic start. Already eight tackles, more importantly, a forced fumble and two interceptions. If we're being objective about this Texans team, there isn't a ton of high-end, top-end talent, etc. But I do think currently this Texans team has a very promising young piece in what they have with Justin Reed. I think he can be a linchpin, a building block, if you will, for one of the most important pieces of their defense, namely the back end at the safety position. Now, look, Reed has missed, missed of course, last week. I'm not overly concerned about him. Maybe the Texans will end up getting lucky, and they'll find that Lonnie Johnson emerges, although I'm not necessarily sold on that one, unfortunately. So as a gambling man myself, I'm asking you guys to guess here too. Will Justin Reed play against the Bills this week? Get your votes in. Type in P for yeah, he's going to play. He'll be out there. Or type in S for no, he will be sitting instead. Some more injury notes here. Kamu Gruger hill one of the linebackers, he is expected to play. Coming off a knee, I, I we'll call it, he's more hurt than he is injured necessarily. I think he'll be out there for the Bills in, in week four against the Buffalo Bills. They also might be getting back their kicker, Kaimi Fairbairn, who has been on IR. It seems like he's trending toward being activated, at least in the near future. We'll see if it's fully in time for week four or if they play it cautiously. It's a groin for a kicker. Those things can be a bit dicey at points, but that's a good sign for Houston. On the negative side, Danny Amendola, who is a veteran, so it's only Wednesday. It's not panic time quite yet. He did miss practice on Wednesday as he deals with a lingering hamstring issue, but they've got Anthony Miller back, so I'm not in full-fledged panic mode if Danny Amendola can't go. Anyway, it's all about force-feeding the ball to Brandon Cooks as far as I'm concerned. In Week 4, the Houston Texans on the road are massive underdogs, 6 points. That line has actually dropped down a little bit from the opening line. That's a pretty substantial spread for any NFL game as good as the clearly Vegas thinks the Bills are and as bad as they think Houston is. So who, you, who do you have in this one? Get your votes in for me in the comments. Type H-O-U if you're going with the Houston Texans or type B-U-F for the Buffalo Bills. I'd love to pick Houston. I'd love to have a breakout game from Davis Mills. I just don't know if that's going to be the case. I got Buffalo in this one. I'm once again asking you to subscribe to our Houston Texans YouTube channel. The link is right there at the bottom of the screen if you guys need it for whatever reason. But as we approach 1,000 subscribers here, that means more free videos for you guys. If you want in, it's very simple. Hit that big red button right now. Bleach Report has put out a, a new article listing one player from each NFL team that should be benched. Their, their selection was Mark Ingram, and I get at least part of where Houston's coming from. Even though Mark Ingram is clearly a David Culley guy, it's not like Ingram has fared great in terms of play. But I don't fully agree with Bleach Report here. Here's what they wrote. While rookie backup Davis Mills hasn't shown much at this point, or in his professional action under center, his backfield hasn't provided much support. The combination of Mark Ingram and David Johnson offer little in the way of playmaking ability and are taking up snaps the team could be using to see what it has in some younger backs. 
It's the inclusion of David Johnson and younger backs that I'm just not sold on here. So in a very small sample size, David Johnson is not the lead back. He has been more productive than Mark Ingram. Again, sample size is a factor, nothing longer than eight yards, but he's averaging a full yard per carry more than what Mark Ingram is. And, and Bleach Report mentioned the younger backs, right? Which, which I certainly understand. But... It's not Scotty Phillips. Like, that guy, he's not good. I'm sorry. I don't think he's a solution. Rex Burkhead is not a young back. That leaves Philip Lindsay, who's had 20 carries this year for 32 yards. I think in reality, we kind of know what Houston has at running back. It's a lot of guys that are going to be heavily dependent on how good their offensive line is blocking for them. Now, if you want to give more reps to Lindsay and David Johnson, I I'm okay with that. I still get it. But I don't think it's the same like, oh, yeah, feed the younger guys as if there's like a potentially, you know, former fourth round pick sitting on your roster or anything like that. I don't think there's a special young back just sitting behind an old veteran. So with that in mind, I am down to bench Mark Ingram. And I want to hear from you guys, too. It's, it's an age youth thing. Let's see what David Johnson, maybe still... Uh, uh, the, the uh, I just forgot his name like an idiot. Uh, Phil Lindsay can do, excuse me. So should the Texans bench Mark Ingram? Get your votes in for me in the comment section. Type in Y for yes, you want to bench Mark Ingram, or type in N for no. Let me know what you guys are thinking here in the comments section.